Do you see that man, Gavin's shirt? Let's, let's rewind it just a little bit so you can see it. Actually, okay, let's Everyone look at it. And I'm the biggest fan here. I've been wanting to do this for so dang long. Look at his shirt. See the pineapples on it? It's a yellow shirt. The ugliest pineapple shirt I've ever seen. It should be white with those on there. Then it would match my backpack. I don't know if you can see my backpack. But yeah, it's got pineapples too. But it's white and looks better than that. Sorry, dude. This is episode two of Survivor. So, so something really bad happened to Luke Perry. And that upsets me. He was rushed to the hospital. Let's watch Inside Edition to find out more to the story. Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Diane McInerney and today for Deborah. He was one of the heartthrobs who shot to fame on the hit 90s show Beverly Hills 90210 after Luke Perry was rushed to the hospital after suffering a massive stroke. And now many are wondering, how could this happen to someone so young? Yeah, how? I hope he's okay. We need him. Responded to a call at 9.40 a.m. Wednesday here at Perry's home in the Sherman Oaks area of Los Angeles. He was transported to a local hospital. A rep tells Inside Edition he is currently under observation. You can hear I just hope he doesn't die because we need him. They're about to do the reboot to Beverly Hills 90210 and he was supposed to be there for it. I loved him on 90210. I loved him on Big News. Yeah. Really? Wonder what? Well, Shannon and I understand, but Luke Perry, why didn't he sign on? Tori said that all of them was going to be there, even him. The fuck? For his speedy recovery. Perry has had health issues before. In 2015, he was treated for precancerous growths found during a routine colonoscopy. I just hope he's okay, that's all. Damn, he looks good for a 52-year-old. Shit! Well, I just saw a video on ABC News about Luke Perry died of a stroke for Cypher's two young kids. Um... I'll know more tonight when I watch Inside Edition and stuff like that and entertainment tonight because I know they will be talking about it, but I gotta get ready for work. He played Dylan McKay on Beverly Hills. There's 920, and I know this summer they're gonna have a reboot, but he didn't sign on to do it. Either did Shannon Doherty, which sucks, but hopefully, since he's now passed today, they make a announce that they make a tribute or something to him on the show or something. That really fucking sucks. Because he was one of my favorites on the show. And he's the first to go on the show. So sad. This quote today, I will forever bask in the loving memories we've shared this over the last years. This is section and then entertainment. Probably talked, I know we talked about it because when I was at work I saw it like at the same time as Inside Edition. And it sucks that he's now gone. Mm, I wonder what they're going to do with Riverdale. Are they going to replace him or recast him or what? I just feel bad for his younger kids. I was hoping he didn't pass at 52, but he did. 1966 to 19. We'll have so much more on ET tonight, including our exclusive interview with Shannon Doherty. I'm Kelsey Knight. Back to you. Entertainment tonight will have the latest on Perry's death following KBC 9 News at 6. I am getting so sick and tired of them saying that Luke Perry was on Beverly Hills Manitou for a decade, which is 10 years. He was not on 90210 for 10 fucking years. 
when the college year year season started, that's when Luke left the show. Right after that, like in the middle of that season. Because he didn't want to go to college. He was tired of Kelly yelling at him about college. And it just wasn't for him. And so he left. He didn't come back until like season not like he came back at the end I believe of season of season eight and then nine and ten and then the starting of nine and then ten and that's it so there's a lot of years missing I believe the college years started in season four I believe and he left that season middle of that season so he missed like five six and seven and all of eight except for the last episode when he showed up so that's like four seasons he has missed so i'm sick and tired of them not getting their facts straight about how long luke perry's been on the show so if you want to do the math he's been on the show seven years not ten since he missed so many like well, not even seven, probably six. Because if it's in the middle of four that he left, and he was only in two other ones, that'd be, yeah, it'll be six years. So get your facts straight. It was not ten years on 90210. Beverly Hills 90210. Yes, the show has been on for ten years. Oh, the show was on for ten years. And he was one of the originals. But he wasn't on there the whole time. So get your facts straight, news people. Entertainment Tonight, Inside Edition, Extra. You know who you are. If Luke Perry's uh, death, it makes me want to watch 90210, just the first three seasons, all over again. Just as like a 90210 memory. They should, this whole week, even over the weekend, do a Luke Perry on Beverly Hills 90210 marathon, in my opinion. Maybe they are and I just don't know about it, but they should, just, just saying. Okay, I found 90210 um, on a free website, so I'm going to watch it, because I didn't feel like going over here where my DVDs are and finding the episodes that only has like one or two in the episodes so I'm gonna watch the first ones with Dylan McKay and then the high school years and then I'll be done because those are the best years anyways it'll probably take me a week but it's worth it by the way something I forgot to mention I do have a tumblr that is all about Beverly Hills 90210 and the remake 90210 and then I'll when the reboot's over with I will have that so make sure you check out my tumblr also make sure you check out my white cats famous people's group page on Facebook so as I've been watching these old episodes of 90210 season 1 and watching it on TV of Luke Perry and them telling the story of how Luke Perry died, which is very weird that his son's a wrestler. But anyways, I don't even want to touch on that. But they explain what happened, how he died or whatever. Basically, basically he was on, basically he had a massive stroke, he wouldn't wake up, what was keeping him alive was machines. They waited until both kids, who are older than I thought they were, one's a wrestler, one was like I think in Africa or something doing charity work, and they were they had to wait until she flew back to be with their dad for one last time before they said they all said their final goodbyes and then they unplugged them. And then they just waited it out until he died. Like, what the fuck? You couldn't at least try to keep him alive? 
through the machines, try to get him to wake up and breathe on his own. You couldn't do that. I mean, I don't know how strokes work and shit. And how being in a coma works and shit. But come on. You know, he was, uh, had a girlfriend and was divorced or anything like that with his ex-wife. Who was by his, by his side, which is very awkward. Weird, but, um, his kids don't even look like his kids. Blonde hair, curly. They may, they may have took after their mother. I don't know. I don't know what the mother looks like. But it's just weird and sad that he is now gone. Just really, it just finally got to me. And I finally started crying for him because I miss him. And it sucks that he had to die on my friend's birthday. And the day before Shay called, you know, from the Shay Tards' birthday. The movie, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie version, that was pretty awesome. He was good in there. Um, I'm about to watch episode six. I think that's when finally him and Brenda start dating for almost two years of the show or whatever so yeah the reboot's only got six episodes I don't understand why but they said they are going to address Luke Perry's death on the show and then that's that so I can't wait they haven't even recorded any of the episodes yet. But yet it comes out this summer. So they better get on the ball because this summer's coming up. But, uh, they keep saying that the reboot was announced the day that Luke Perry, it was either when Luke Perry got the stroke or when Luke Perry died. Um, which is not true because I heard about the reboot Anyways, where was I? Because I heard about the reboot from Tori Spelling on, I think, Inside Edition, either Inside or, or it was Entertainment Tonight that there was a reboot for 90210 like weeks before Luke Perry got sick, went to the hospital, died, whatever and he about Luke and I'm just like what? we just heard about the reboot but uh, anyways you always be in my heart Luke and if anybody has the 90210 dolls or anything of Luke Perry's posters, signs, anything signed, whatever, you know it's going to be worth a lot of money because after a celebrity dies, their stuff is worth a lot of money. I have the 1992 90210 calendar. It's worth nothing because i written in it, but if I didn't write in it and I still had it, it'd be worth a lot of money. Dylan McKay. Barbie doll because that would have meant so much to me. I remember seeing the new kids on the block one a long, long time ago at Walmart. And I begged my mom for it and then I saw the 90210s and I was like, I want one. And she was like, mm, no, you don't need it. But I wish just for old times' sake they would reboot those, remake them, we put them out for us fans to go nuts over and buy him again because now that he's gone people are going to want those but uh anywho I'm going to get going I will talk to you later so later haters I'm bunny and bunny now leave me alone -y.